Sorry, it's all done. Just a message from the estate agent. You know, I've got to say this, but I think you're being really hasty selling my cottage. Really? The place has been nothing but bad news. We're all right at your dad's, aren't we? Well, for now. So we find somewhere else? Somewhere that's right for both of us? I guess I just don't get it. You know, we've already ploughed so much money into the flat conversions. And we'll lose a whole lot more if we hang on to it for much longer. The place is a money pit. I don't know. Look, I understand you think we should have discussed it first, but honestly, there's nothing to discuss. But it was supposed to be our future. Well, not anymore. I thought everything was back on track. Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. I thought it best that we do this here without Eric staring daggers as he serves us cold toast. Yeah, it's like he really doesn't want us there or something. Well, forget about him. It's still your birthday. You could try and look a little more cheerful or something. Tell him. Look, it's just another day. I don't care. Well, happy 16th, Lucky. Yeah, happy birthday, mate. Rip it open. It's the only way. There's one for you on the side. Oh, unauthorised overdraft charge. It's only a day. A week top. Still, at least you know now, eh? Prison postmark from my dad. Right. So... So, uh, I don't want to know. <gasps> you OK? Yeah, yeah, I'm just, um, I'm just a bit annoyed about this, this charge. I see. If you do what I do, you won't even know. <laughs> I've been calling you. Really? As it happens, I've been in my solicitors, had a couple of legal matters to iron out. What with my new family circumstances. Uh, coffee, please, when you're ready to go. It's Lucky's birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks. Seems like only yesterday you were my grandson. Dad! I'd ask you if you're having a party, but then again, who would you invite? And stay away from poor Gabby. What's he talking about? What does he mean, stay away from Gabby? Nothing. I, I don't know. Why don't we do something nice, just the two of us? You don't mind, do you? No, of course not. Actually, uh, I had other plans. Well, you never said. What plans? Well, I'm seeing some friends. See you later. <sighs> I was going to do us a picnic. We used to love those. I don't suppose it's the last thing he wants to do now. Look, I know it's not the same, but... Well, I've not got a lot on today. We could go for a picnic. I know just a spot. I'm not sure that I'm in the mood. Well, all the more reason. They've got those mini scotch eggs at the shop. Olives and all that. I loathe scotch eggs. I can't stand olives. Leave it with me, OK? Taxi's booked. I just need to pop out and get some supplies for the flight. You're not thinking of taking her with you, are you? Gabby. And where are you going? Well, I could ask you the same question. My dad said I could come stay here. Really? Well, unfortunately, that's not going to be possible. I've just booked myself on a yoga retreat. Well, I can come with you. I thought you never wanted to see me again. Anyway, it's not really suitable for children. How come she gets to go on holiday? It's not a holiday. It's a yoga retreat. Got that? Yoga retreat. Not a holiday. Hmm. Fine, I'll cancel it. Maybe for the best pet. I mean, I've already paid for it. Oh, do what you want. You usually do. Might not be able to get my money back now. I'll call them for you. I'm usually quite good with these people. These people? I remember one time I had to calm some very troubled water when Hillary was on a meditation weekend in the Isle of Skye. Apparently her negative vibes were unsettling everybody. I had to feign surprise. That's settled then. Give me the number and I'll phone the chief yogi. I'll tell him. Right. Um, are you sure that's what you want, Gabby? I mean, I just want to do what's best for everyone. Do you know what? I think we should stick to the original plan. I'm going to have to go. I've got loads of things to sort out. Don't unpack yet. I need to speak to your dad about this. I'm trying not to take any notice. It's just your mum's way of coping. Don't get upset. But it's not her that bothers me. This was supposed to be in the best summer of my life. Oh. This is...
is what all the excitement's been about, is it? Oh, God, they're zombies. I was in the queue when the shop opened the first thing. Hmm. And you were so excited you just threw any old thing on, did you? Day off, who cares? Well, I thought you might, if Carly's coming round. Oh! Why does everybody think there's something going on between us? Oh, right, so it's not just me. Who else? OK, it's just you, but it's annoying. We're friends, that's all. Hmm. Said every man too scared to make his move. All right, sorry, I know it's none of my business. Well, there is that, but also, me and Carly... I don't fancy her. Really? Not even a little bit. Why are you here? Because Leo left his helicopter here, you know, the little red one. Right. Only oh, he's had that for months and it's, it's been in the garden for at least half that time. Well, I also thought maybe I could take April off your hands so you could have the place to yourself. Look, just because you found somebody else, it doesn't mean the rest of us have to. I'm fine as I am. Good for you. And even if I wasn't, me and Carly, we're just friends. Mm-hmm. Said that already. Really? Have I? Yes. I'll have to say it again then, will I? Oh. oh, Andy. Hi. I wanted to catch you. Yeah, me too. I saw you earlier. I was in a rush. It's OK. Um... And look, I'm sorry. Oh, you don't have to apologise. I mean... I'm really pleased if you and Chrissy have managed to sort your differences out. Benice, I would never have... If I'd have thought for one minute there was a chance Chrissy would take me back, I really want to try and make it work between us. I know. You're decent. It's one of the things I... You and me, there's always something that's that seems to draw us back together, just never been the right time. If the stars had been aligned differently... Yeah. Well, it wasn't meant to be. You and I were both just in a vulnerable place. I mean, well, I still am. And I'm still here for you, as a friend, you know, if you ever want to talk. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Anyway, I I've booked myself on that yoga retreat after all. I thought it might be best all round. No hard feelings? Of course not. Be happy. You too. Thank you. You shouldn't have. It's for Lucky. It's his 16th birthday today. He didn't even bother opening it. I wouldn't take it to heart. I remember being 16. It's a difficult time. Hiya. I am just printing out these. Oh, great. Well, let's have a look, then. <laughs> now, I really think I've got some good ones. Hey, not bad. Hey, not bad at all. <gasps> Do you want to put them all up? I'm sure there's room. Well, you never know. Might even sell a couple. Yeah. Might even sell them all. Make us both rich. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this one. I think that must be you and Andy at the window. Oh, yeah. That's definitely Andy. Can't really make you out, though. Yeah, in Doug and Diane's, too. <laughs> naughty. Very naughty. <laughs> When was this taken? Just yesterday. You can have it if you want. I could print out more. No, thanks. Hey, well, we could start putting them up, then. Hit him if he tried it on with me. Lads are all the same. It's disgusting. Well, have you spoken to him since it happened? No. He tried talking to me, but total cringe. So you think they'll get back together then? Your mum and them? No chance. He's completely lost it. God knows what they'll all say about it at Pony Club. He wouldn't worry about them. I mean, they were really nice when they found out about Dad's dementia. Not sure it'd be quite the same in my gay stepdad. I can hear the jokes already. 
You're not exactly going to be going to Pony Club anymore, are you? What do you mean? Of course I am. Well, I might be wrong, but I kind of thought, no home farm, no Pony Club. I might not be living in the big house anymore, but there's no way I'm going back to how things were. Can your mum afford it? I do reckon Pony Club and all that comes cheap. Maybe not, but that's my life now. I'll die before I give it up. <laughs> Hey, you should be careful with that thing. I know what I'm doing. Really? <laughs> so, why don't you put this down before it gets serious? I think it's already pretty serious. I'm trying to give you a chance here. Shut up. You're not going to shoot me. So put the gun down now. I told you to shut up! Okay. I'm in charge, not you. Okay. <laughs> Message received. So, what's this all about? What do you think? Well, I'm not going to try and guess what's going on inside that head of yours. I want you to stop making our lives miserable. You can start by texting Mum and telling her how sorry you are about everything. Don't be ridiculous. Do it. Now! OK, OK. Thanks for this, Diane. I'll bring them back later on. No rush. I can't remember the last time Doug took me on an impromptu picnic. Mainly because it's yet to happen. Unless he thinks that time we sat outside at Birch Services counts. Anyway, Chris is a lucky woman. I don't know about that. You know, Bernice is off on some yoga retreat. I don't think she's coping very well. So, I imagine everything's all right between you two now, then? Me and Bernice? No. Well, no, I meant you and Chrissy. We're good. Okay. As long as you're happy, that's all I care about. I am. We both are. Come on, chop, chop. Where's this cup of coffee? Seriously, I think we're going to have to sack this one. Late for her shift, too. Good value for money, though. You mean we're paying her? Well, not exactly. Yeah. As much cake as I can eat. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get me in bother. Hey, missus. I thought you were going gymnastics. Not sure that'll be fun with a belly full of cake. I can find out and let you know if you want. <laughs> <laughs> that line might have worked on Grandad Bob. He's the best. Oh, I wonder who's getting on from holiday with Brenda. Oh, I don't know. I hope he might call, though. He was in such a rush, I barely got a chance to say bye. It's a nice shirt. Oh, this. Ages. <laughs> so, where uh, did you get it, then? The game? Oh, yes. Nice. So, when am I coming round? Oh, I don't know. I had a mama session this morning, so... What? Without me? Well, it's not like we joined at the app or anything, is it? I suppose not. Carly, I've got two words for you. It's a bit harsh. <laughs> Self-defence class. That's three words. Self-defence is hyphenated. Nice try. I'm starting classes properly next week, but I thought I'd do a little dry run at lunchtime. Seems like a good idea with the recent break-ins. Yeah, OK. I'll come if he comes. <laughs> oh, I don't need self-defence. <laughs> oh! Great, cos it's not just for girls. OK, you got lucky there, that's all, because... <laughs> Will you be bringing your hand up? Oof, you wish. Oh, well, you can count me out, then. <laughs> but I can rely on you two, yeah? Um, no. All that pointlessly long body and no idea what to do with it, what a waste. You know, statistically, you're more likely to be attacked than either of us, isn't that right? Well, men are more vulnerable than they realise. Oh, no, I, I meant just my Oh, oh yeah. <gasps> fine, fine. It'll shut you both up. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? They're yours. I found them at the back of the closet. I know they're mine. I mean, what are you doing with them? Well, you can't exactly wear high heels. You think? These are nice and flat and sensible. Hmm, which makes you wonder why I even have them. So that you can put them on and come to the cafe with me. I don't think so. All right, then the pub, even better. It's not even lunch. Then when, Nico, you're practically a recluse. <sighs> oh, don't be ridiculous. You haven't been out in I don't know how long. I was out in the garden just this morning. You know what I mean. Do I? It's not good for you. I'll tell you what's not good for me, shall I? This useless arm. One drink and then we can come straight back home, promise. I don't want to go. Why not? Because I don't want people looking at me, all right? 
I don't want to be seen like this. Then let them look. You're still Nicola King, my amazing, beautiful, but still very scary wife. There, a smile, there's still hope. One drink. Absolutely. But I'm still not wearing them. Seriously, chuck them in the bin. Don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, I'll put your bag in the car, then. Clearly, he's not going to budge, the lazy... I'll give you a hand. Did you speak to Dad? Oh, sorry, I didn't have time. Oh, of course you didn't. Look, I know there's been a lot of upheaval lately, so I want you to have this for incidentals. Oh, yeah, and I need some more for Pony Club. Gabby, you know we can't... Look... You understand how things have changed. What with the salon being closed, at least for now. Yeah, so how come you get to go on holiday? It's not a holiday. Oh, yeah, right. But one thing, that's all I'm asking. Please, it's only fair. I'm sorry. But from now on, there'll be no more pony club. This is Chrissy's phone. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh. What are you doing? I'm sitting down because this is getting very boring. I told you not to move. OK, so shoot me or shut up. Fine. <laughs> Stay there. Where do you imagine this is heading, hmm? Got no idea, have you? Come on, admit it. I'm the one holding the gun. And not very well at that, so maybe you better put it down before someone really does get hurt. What if that's what I want? Huh? To hurt you like you hurt us. That's absurd! What? So, so is that it? You just don't care anymore? You're the one pointing the gun at me. Need I say more? Do you have any idea what it's like to be called a pervert by your own granddad? You've always been a strange kid, ever since you were little. You know, it's a relief that you're not my problem anymore. How can you say that? All my life you've been there. You and Mum. Yeah. <laughs> You're all I got. <laughs> yeah. And this is how you show your gratitude. With a gun. Lucky. There's something broken in there. <clears throat> Dad! 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 <laughs> It was an accident. I just wanted to give him a shock. I didn't mean for this. You shot him. So keep your weight nice and central. Good stretch to the side and then... Have you done this before? Just a keen student. Great stuff. OK, now we're all looking at pretty warmed up, which is good, because we don't want any injuries. Not yet, anyway. Don't panic. She's only kidding. No, no. You look worried. Maybe that's because I'm the only bloke here. Oh, don't worry. I'll look after you. So, who's going to be my first volunteer? Marlon. Perfect. Thanks a lot. That's great. If you just want to stand there... Nice, uh, shorts. Oh, I didn't have any... Ah! Oh, <laughs> I'd like to leave now. First lesson, always be prepared. He certainly wasn't prepared. Oh, Marlon, no need to feel sorry for him. He's not hurt, are you, Marlon? Well, you, um... You might want to, uh, call the boys home. I feel sick. Hmm? Oh, no! No, no, no. Don't move one step closer, not one step. Him. You don't need to keep saying. OK, I need, I need to calm down. Where is he going to be all right? Well, you shot him. What do you think? Um, I need you. I need you to put the gun down. I 
You just put the cunt down. Carefully! Well, shouldn't we call an ambulance? Why and tell them what exactly? That it was an accident. Please, you can't let him die. He's such a mess. OK, honey, I need you to listen and do exactly what I say. Do you understand? Yeah, I need to hear you say it. Yes. OK. I need you to go in the kitchen and um, find the cloths and the, the, the washing up gloves and the bin liners. Why? And then when you've done that, I need you to go upstairs and get changed and then put your clothes in the bin bag and bring it back downstairs. And do it now, please, because we haven't got much time. It's a hurry. Yes, I need an ambulance, please. That's going to be the last thing I see before I close my eyes. Yeah, for the rest of your life. Oh, come on, it could have happened to anyone. Not in this room, it couldn't. Can we just get on with it now, please? Uh, everything uh, in order? Maybe think about wearing tracky bottoms next They're time. in the wash. OK. Well, thanks. You know, for everything. Oh, I want a rematch, whatever. Oh, Marlon, it was just a demonstration. There's no room for male pride here. I think we've seen quite enough of your male pride. <laughs> I don't even want to come in the first place. Oh, fine. But let's make it more interesting. Carly, do you want to come up? Hang on. Oh, you're really well toned. Have you done self-defence before? So, Marlon, when you're ready, attack. Attack? And, Carly, if you do your best to block him using those moves that we went through earlier. Right, you are? Sorry, just... When you say attack... Just go for it. Marlon, if you don't want to do it, I will. Make a grab for her! Right! Oh. 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 oh! oh, he's a natural. That was fun. Do you want to go again? It's probably best if we give somebody else a turn. Well, I'm obviously wasting my time. Thanks anyway. I'm just waiting for prayer to finish off. Perhaps you two should have a nice, quiet night in tonight. No more poker. You're probably right. Of course I'm right. Thanks again for paying Pierce. You'll get the money back soon. No rush. Tell me, this isn't the reason why you're selling mill. Of course not. It's just the right business decision to make. Because I'd hate to see you lose out for the sake of £6,000. Don't worry. Things aren't quite that bad. So, what's next? Good question. Can I get back to you on that one? A man needs a reason to leave the house in the morning. Especially if it's not his own house, right? You know, that's not what I meant. As far as I'm concerned, it's your home for as long as you want. I know, I'm sorry. <sighs> Something on your mind? Plans change, that's all. I'm looking forward to a new challenge. Let me guess. Dad's trying to change your mind about selling. Yeah, darling, I'm not trying to change his mind. That's your job. Oh, well, I hate to break it to you. But I'm looking forward to finding a new place. Searching the property ads is much more my thing anyway. I'm not going to argue with that. Do you really mean it? Of course. If it's the right thing, then it's the right thing. Thank you, that's such a relief. Oh, please, when have I ever stopped you from doing anything? And besides, like, we are in this together. What? I'm just thankful I have such an amazing and beautiful wife. And don't you forget it. Good boy. Now, I, I need you to be quick. The ambulance is on its way. Is he going to die? I don't know. But whatever happens, I need you to be brave now. I'm scared. Well, it'll be OK. You just have to do what I tell you. So I, I need you to put the gloves on and wipe the gun clean. And my fingerprint. And then I need you to go to the safe, take out my jewellery, um, money, uh, anything in there of value. In fact, you can start with that vase up there. I don't understand. I want you to put it in the bag with the gun. I want you to take it all out to the woods and hide it somewhere the police won't find it. No. No, I'll, I'll tell them it was an accident when the ambulance gets here. You won't, Lachlan. See, I, I believe you, but they might not. And, and even if they do, I just... This is why we have to make it look like a break-in gone wrong. I can't let you do that. Go to the B&B &B and get showered and wait for me to call you, OK? Do you understand? I just wanted him to be my granddad again. Do you understand? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, you should have done it years ago, Rodder's old boy. Actually, I've got a boat moored in the harbour. Yeah, I normally sail for Saint-Tropez in the spring. Oh, really? Well, maybe you should come. Well, it sounds wonderful, but sadly, I'll be summering in Antibes. <sighs> yeah, good choice. <laughs> Yeah, well, I would have been, except there's as much chance of that now as you sailing on your imaginary yacht. I'll stop you there. It wasn't a yacht, it was a boat. I have some class. Well, you won't mind paying for my pony club, then. How about a slice of free cake? Yeah, but it's not free, though, is it? I mean, everything costs one way or another, or anything worth having. Except this cake. OK, go on, then. I made it myself. It's from my own recipe. Well, which is basically an old Delia recipe. Thanks. I mean, Mum's gone off on some... Yoga retreat. Except hers was coffee and water. You can bet that can't be cheap. I replaced the coffee with chicory. Yeah, she says she can't afford Pony Club now that her and Lawrence are split up. And the walnut with parsnips. That's foul. Sorry. Oh, ah, well. <coughs> <coughs> Perhaps one for a more refined palate. <laughs> yeah. Maybe save it for Saint Tropez. Yeah, very good. Bag of crisps. <coughs> Ready salted or cheese and onion? Either. Or, um, how about if you were to lend me the money for Pony Club? Grandad? Grandad? Oh, why? Oh. This is gonna work. Yeah, most things do your age. Oh, thanks again for coming. <laughs> Hoping there'll be a few more in the next class, so spread the word. Knife combat skills next week. Joke. It's going to be another couple of weeks at least. Ah, good one. Right, I'm off. Need some food. See ya. See ya, please. So, can I expect to see you at the next class? And when I say see ya... Ha <laughs> ha! I'm glad we all had a big laugh. We well, certainly know how to make Carly smile. Like a pair of giggling kids. What's, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on. Well, we can make each other laugh without it being... Without what? We're friends, that's all. Why can't people get that through the thick heads? Yeah, you're right. None of my business. Sorry. Sorry, that didn't come out the way I meant. Not for the first time today. Uh, Ron has been teasing me non-stop. Be honest. Do I look like a fool? Yes. But it's mostly the short. <laughs> what, I mean, an old fool has got a crush on his nanny. Do you have a crush on her? No. So who cares what people think? I do. Like you spend a lot of time together. People are going to draw their own conclusions. Do you know what? You're absolutely right. So why don't we do something about that? What are you doing now? Meeting you for a drink in the woolly? On me. Well, those shorts better not be. later on. I know you've already played. I'll forgive you. Not the same on your own, is it? Ah, uh, got the plans, sorry. Mm, what plans? Just meeting Harriet for a drink. Sort of a date. Sort of? OK, it's a date. Ah. Oh, good for you. Uh. She must have liked the little show you put on earlier. Sorry. But if you're free... You need me to babysit. If you don't mind. <laughs> no, of course I don't. Right, well, enjoy. And when you're done, you can tell me all about it. <laughs> you have to go now. I can't do this, I'm sorry. We don't have time for this, please. He's gonna die, isn't he? You are my boy. I love you more than anything in the world. Please, you're gonna have to trust me. It's too late. No, it isn't if you go now. You're going to be OK. I need you to go out the back way. Oh, and when you go out the door, I want you to run and don't stop. Hello? In here! Is my dad. Uh, I think he's been shot. You need to help him, please. Do you think my daddy's having a nice time? I'm sure he is, kid. 
Do you want to pluck my hair? Maybe later. I could pluck yours. Mm, do you remember what happened last time? <laughs> Will she be his girlfriend now? Who, Harriet? I don't know, it's, uh, it's too early to tell. He looks sad. I'm sorry. It's OK. We're allowed to be sad sometimes. It's what my mummy used to say. You know, um, I've got someone who I miss too. Are they in heaven as well? Yep. And today would have been their birthday. It still is. Yeah, you're right. It always will be. We should do this again. You mean when there's actual people in here to see us together? Oh, but it's not what I'm... I didn't... I'm just messing, you silly sausage. So you're up for a second date? You're serious? Why not? We like each other, we have a laugh. This isn't a date, is it? This is me helping you with... I don't know what. I think I'm making too big a deal of this. You mean Carly? The young, gorgeous woman you're so insistent you don't fancy. Because I don't. But you fancy me. Marlon, I'll go for a drink with you any time, but as friends, nothing more, nothing less. Right, chips and something fizzy. That used to work better a few years ago. No, I'm not even hungry. I am. My stomach thinks my throat's cut. Don't give her any ideas, the mood she's in. Diane, could you possibly be kind enough to pour me a large scotch? Sorry, not my pub anymore, Sandy. Yeah, more's the pity. My pension's burning a hole, and charity has left me hanging here. Take it from me, Gabby, money's of no use at all if you can't spend it. He's still breathing, but he's lost a lot of blood. Let him know we'll need a full standby team. We found the safe wide open. Empty. So you think it might have been a burglary, then? It's a possibility. We're still checking the house and the grounds. Chris, what's happened? Um, it's my dad. They're, they're saying he's been shot. Shot? Are you OK? Yeah, I need to go. I need to be with him. Hey. Didn't expect you back so early. Well, I... I don't want to take advantage. What, of me or Harriet? Where's April? You know, it's funny, I was just about to ask myself the same question. I shall show up. Always does. Open a bedroom. Mm-hmm. Another case cracked. Listen, um... I'm sorry if I was short with you earlier on. Don't worry about it. You all have off days. Everything all right? Yeah, of course. OK. Well, you're back, so uh, I'm going to get off. Aren't you going to ask me how it went? Really don't care. Wow, I think the lady doth protest too much. <laughs> That's supposed to be funny. You know, Marlon, all I really wanted to do today was hang out with my mate, because I thought it might just help take my mind off things. What things? Today would have been my son's birthday. No photos. I, I was just checking my settings. Well, don't point it at me. Sorry. All requests for photos need to go to her agent. <laughs> that Nicola? Whatever. I'll have a large white one. I'll bring it over. And a pint for me, cheers, mate. Get my darts. Are you serious? Right, sorry. That's your dart playing arm, is it? What have you got to lose? An eye. Uh, he wasn't talking to you. Get to the bar. Come on. Right. Not bad. Not bad at all for the first go. Give us luck. <laughs> You're a natural. Seriously. <laughs> I don't believe this. Chas. Didn't recognise you. <laughs> Is it good to be home? It's like I've never been away. 
I'm supposed to be buying one of the flats and now I'll find a for sale sign stuck up outside. Sorry, not your problem. I just wanted to say thanks for getting me the help I needed. How are you feeling now? Well, to be honest, probably a lot better than I should do. It already feels like it happened to somebody else. Weird. How was it at the clinic? Quiet, mostly. Boring. <laughs> Well, boring made a nice change after everything. Guess I was lucky. In what way? Well, in that you saw what was going on with me before it got any worse. Oh. Yeah, but don't worry. I'm fine now. I'm glad to hear it. We must have nipped it in the bud just in time. I owe you. Oh, don't be daft. That's not surprising. You've been through some tough times, Chas. <laughs> Yeah, and to think I used to blame you for a lot of them. <laughs> it's water under the bridge. Even so, I wouldn't have put money on us ending up here. Strange how things turn out, isn't it? OK. Brought you a change of clothes. Thanks. Should have realised the police would need mine. You do everything I asked? Yeah, it's done. Any news on Grandad? No, not yet. It's bad, isn't it? He was shot at pretty close range. What do you think? Well, I don't know what to think. My head's in bits. Liz, it's OK. It's not like you didn't have a cause. He's been putting you through hell recently. Mum, it was an accident. Was it? Yeah, of course. I just wanted to scare him. You know, make him see what he was doing. What if he pulls through? I mean, do you really think he's going to go along with all this? Oh, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it, won't we? You mean if? I feel sick. All right, just, just breathe, OK? Come on, Gabby. There you are. Hi. Dad. Everything OK? I think a splendid time. A bit too splendid. I'm missing money here. Quite a lot of money. Oh, please don't tell me you've already blown all of your pension money again. It's not possible. I must have dropped it. But the book is unbutton. Honestly, Dad. Gabby, you'll have to help me look after him. Yeah, um, I would, except um, Mum thinks I'd be better off staying with Gran and Doug. Oh, well, she never mentioned. Did she? She said she'd call. Thought you could do without the added pressure right now. Right, see. Well, you're always welcome, you know that. What's he looking at? Who, Rishi? Maybe he fancies a game of darts? Yeah, he was staring straight at me. I don't think he was. I've got eyes, Jimmy, I'm not stupid. All oh, right, that's it. What are you doing now? Oi. You got something to say, say it to my face. Well, I was just saying I saw the police and an ambulance as I drove past Home Farm. Sounds serious. I'll leave you to it. Why is Nicola in a wheelchair? Uh, it's a long story, I'll tell you later. I really didn't spend it, you know. Spend what? My pension money. I must have lost it. I had it here, here, in my wallet there. And now it's probably in that till. It isn't. It can't be. It's either lost or stolen. I think lost is the more likely. Come on, you might have dropped it outside. I'll help you look. Come on, down. We need to go, too. Why's that? The pony club. I thought you weren't going to go anymore. Oh, Mum left me the money after all. I can't miss it. Go on, then. I'll run you there. You might have to get your pony to bring you back, though. It's fine by me. Who's going? Um... No. Yes! <laughs> oh, all right. Do you want another game, or do you need a break? Another game. Good shout. Just, just... Are you okay? Are you? I thought you might want to talk. I'm not sure there's uh, much to talk about. I'm sorry. What for? I just wish I'd known, that's all. It wouldn't have changed anything. I could have been there for you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Come on. 
Are you joining in or what? Today eh? must be hard. Some years are uh, better than others. But it's special too. That's why it hurts, because it matters. I don't suppose you, uh you fancy opening a bottle? It's like you read my mind. <laughs> For once, I'm not going to fob you off with the cheap stuff. I didn't think you had anything other. Oh! I've got a couple of nice bottles stashed away for special occasions, and today definitely qualifies. Oh, no, no, not that one. Since when did we get that one, the other one? Right, sorry. No. <laughs> uh, I'm not your pack mule. It saves 5p on a carrier bag. Lots of the big spenders. See, we're having fun, aren't we? <sighs> In what way exactly? We're just being out and about together. I reckon you should join the pub darts team. I don't think so. Look on Rishi's face when you charged over. I made a total fool of myself. I wonder what is going on at home farm. Police and ambulance, Rishi said. I might go up there. Well, let's just go home here. I'm not feeling well. Since when? Since just now. Do you think you could give my feet a rub when we get back? Of course, you poor thing. Oh, let's just go. I can get this stuff later. Oh, with the chocolate. We need the chocolate, yeah. Right. And wine. Get some wine. <clears throat> Do you mind? Yes. Put them back on now. <laughs> you know, my feet are my least favourite part of me. Well, I think you saw one of my least favourite parts at the village hall earlier. Well, two. Actually, I didn't see. Really? Really? Well, you must have been the only <laughs> one. <laughs> and mine must have been elsewhere. I'm here, you know. You ever want to talk? When he was born, and then um, they wished him off to be weighed and cleaned, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. It was like that with Leo. Of course, I missed it with April. And then when I held him for the first time, I just felt peace. Everything just felt right. He was your boy. He'll always be your boy. Yep. Won't ever forget him. I see him every time I close my eyes, but he used to rip my heart out. Honestly, I, I don't know if I've onto this for so long. I'm glad I told you when I did. Me too. Because now I can I can talk about him. And the pain doesn't totally blot out the joy of holding him. Oh, please tell me you've got more <laughs> wine. <laughs> I'll go on with some. No, not right now. Right now, I need a cuddle. Well, I'm your man. Here you are. You're my best mate, Marlon. Don't tell Paddy. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Um. Doctor has some news. Um, this is my son. I see. Well, as I was saying, your father's lost a lot of blood. But you can deal with that, right? A pellet of shot has caused a small but not insignificant rupture to the abdominal aorta. How, how serious? He's been taken in for surgery as we speak. They'll do everything they can. But... I'm afraid that's all I can tell you right now. I'm sorry. He's not going to make it, is he? He'll be fine. You don't know that. I heard what she said. Oh, she doesn't know your granddad like I know your granddad. Listen, everything is going to be OK. I can't deal with him right now. What? You have another argument? Will you just get rid of him, please? Sorry, now's not a good time. So you did do everything I asked? Exactly like you said. 
Boy. There's no going back, is there? I mean, what if there's something we didn't think of? As long as we stick to our story, we'll be fine. Look, it's just you and me now, OK? Come here. We don't need anybody else. Next, a well-deserving nurse gets a cruise ship-inspired garden in Love Your Garden. That's on its way next. There's sun-soaked drama over an ITV encore with the Durrells next. While here on ITV tomorrow night at 9, Long Lost Family.